Assignment 5, Question 5. The circuit's been like this for a very long time. At t equals 0, this switch closes. Find what is the voltage in this 4 kilo ohm resistor V0 of t as a function of time after the switch closes, that is, for t greater than 0. Let's begin. We begin, as usual, with a snapshot at t equal right before the switch closes at t equal 0 minor. The circuit is in DC steady state and the capacitor can be represented as an open circuit. This one here. The switch is open, so this part of the circuit is not part of the circuit yet. And here is the open circuited capacitor, and the voltage here would be Vc at 0 minus, which of course is going to be the same as Vc at 0 plus, which is Vc naught, the initial voltage in the capacitor. Now there is no current in that circuit because the current is 0. In a capacitor, if the current is 0, according to Ohm's law, the voltage is going to be also. 0 volts here, 0 volts here, and 0 volts here. That means that in a KVL equation in this loop, Vz0 is 60 volts. Vz0 is 60 volts. And we are ready to proceed. Now we close the switch, like so. It's T after 0. And we want to find what is the Thevenin equivalent seen by this capacitor. The capacitor has to be taken out of the picture. So we want the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit seen by the capacitor at the port AB. That is a very simple exercise. We can use the 1 amp to amp method. Or in this very simple case, I could find the V open circuit which is no other, no other than V7, and, and then kill the sources and find R7. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Find that voltage. This is my reference node. This is node 01. Branch currents are chosen like so. I write a KCL equation. KCL equation for node 1. Currents here is 0, so I don't. This is 60 minus V1 divided by. 4 kilo ohms, 4,000, and that is equal to the current, leaving the node is V1, minus 24, divided by 2,000 ohms. We solve that equation, and we get the voltage of this node, 36 volts. However, because there is no current in this uh, resistor, this one, the voltage, according to Ohm's law, here is zero, and the voltage here is also zero volts. The V open circuit, the voltage here is just a V1. This is V open circuit, and that is V7. Excellent. Now let's find the R7, and to do that, what we we do is we kill all the sources and these are voltage sources so to kill them we replace them with a short circuit and now we look into the circuit what is the resistance that resistance is going to be R7 and that is going to be 2 in series with 4 in series with a parallel of 4 and 2 let me write it R7 is going to be 2 kilos plus 4 kilos, those two. And then that in series with 4 in parallel with 2 kilos. I do the math and I get 22 thirds of a kilo ohm. That is our 7. Oh well, now from this circuit at t equals 0 plus, we find that the final voltage in the capacitor has to be equal to V7 and has to be equal to 37 volts. And the time constant of the circuit is R7, which is known 22 thirds of a kilo ohm, 
multiplied by c, which is also known. That is 22 thirds kilos multiplied by 54 micro farads. And that value is 0 0.396 seconds. That is the time constant of discharge of this uh, capacitor. The capacitor's voltage starts as we saw 60 volts and then it slowly goes down to the final voltage of 36 volts. So we say the voltage in the capacitor as a function of time for t after zero has a final value of 36 volts and has a transient value with an initial value of 60 a final value of 36 and an exponential uh, that has this t divided 0 0.396 seconds these are a volt those are the volts in the capacitor now we can we can bring back our capacitor mm -hmm, absolutely we can and bring back uh, the rest of the circuit, all right? Let's bring back the rest of the circuit. The question remains when we want is the voltage in this 4 kilo ohm resistor, this voltage here. What is, what is that voltage? That is what we need to find. What is that voltage? Well, if I knew the current here, I would multiply that current I naught times 4 kilo ohms. But observe that current is the same current in the capacitor. It is um, this current here, the current in the capacitor, right? And the current in the capacitor, we know, is C D V C D D. So we have C as a function of time, this one. We differentiate and multiply times C, that is 54 micro. That multiplies the derivative of this term. Uh, this is uh, zero, the derivative, and this would be mm -hmm, 24, 24. That multiplies the negative of 1 over 396 divided by 1,000, and that times the exponential, negative t divided by 0.396. If that current turns out to be negative 327 periodic e to the negative t over 0 0.396 milliamps. So that current actually negative is flowing the other way. Wow, well, we don't care about that. Let's write it like so. This is also I naught. If we multiply that I naught times 4000, we get the voltage V naught that we're looking for. So I just multiply this times. 4,000, negative 327 periodic, and the exponential is exactly the same as before that has not changed, of course, of course. Negative 1309 periodic, e to the negative, this is a 9, not a 1. Negative t divided 0.396 volts and this is the answer to the question we've been working on this voltage the voltage in this resistor thank you very much